Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. And Matt today definitely has overcome some big challenges. We have Matt Galland, who's one of the legends of copywriting and direct response marketing. Matt is known as the mad marketing scientist because he's constantly testing new and radical ideas inside his companies, which we will talk about. Matt made his first sale online on the internet in 1996. Since then, he's built over 39 profitable websites and his companies have sold over $10 million worth of products and services online. Matt, thank you so much for joining me. It's great to be here. I love talking about uh, copywriting and marketing, so I'm excited. You know, since this is Inspired Insider, you know, my question for you is, what was a moment when you had to overcome a huge challenge and then what you thought about and inspired and motivated you to push forward. And I know you have a really deep, painful story from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So let's, let's, yeah, let's go to that one. Um, yeah, you know, I was, I was married and, uh, again, I had the big dream of, of, you know, having this type of business, you know, I wanted to, you know, my, my bigger goal was actually to, to live abroad, to live in the world, uh, which I do now, I live in Panama, but I knew to be able to do that, I needed to build this kind of business, so that's, that's why I was so attracted to internet marketing, and, you know, I was already in debt quite a bit from student loans, I was, you know, 40k in the hole there, and then, uh, you know, other, other debts kept, <laughs> kept coming in so I was I was very deep in the hole at that point and despite all that um, I was making money as a trainer so I took all the money I made and I just started going to seminars and you know I went to you know, John Carlton's Dan Kennedy's last copywriting seminar I went to Gary Halbert's a few of those I went to uh, Gary Bensavenga's I went to Clayton make pieces and, and so on and so forth plenty of other internet marketing stuff so invested I mean pretty much all the money I was making at that time in, in learning and you know there was a lot of there was a lot of uh, fear you know there's a lot of fear and, and all that and of course you know the the uh, copywriting experience happened so that that compounded the, the experience then I got robbed I had I had some cash saved at home somebody broke in while I was in New York stole my safe um, with with uh, you know five figures in cash, wow. so that 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 hurt, um, and then I got scammed by another guy on top of that for about another seven k. So it it was just a brutal, you know, a brutal year. Like the it was perfect like three, storm. It all happened. It was a perfect once. storm of just horrible financial uh, circumstances, and then uh, the dead. That then the copywriter was really the darkest moment. You know that that experience. So. The turning point was just saying, you know what, I, I can do it. I'm going to do it and launching and in and, and, and the face of all that. And then everything turned around and, and the rest is history. So, yeah, I mean. What were you, you know, thinking about that motivated you to do that? Because when you're at that time and all that happens at once, you know, you could say that now. And it's easier to say, but at the time, it's probably not so easy. Yeah, again, uh, I, I think – one of the big things is is you need to work with, you know, we need validation sometimes. Um, I didn't realize how good I, I had become. You know, I had been working on my chops for two, three years and really, you know, writing letters and, I mean, you know, yeah. working on it. So I had gotten to a certain level that was that was good enough to write a control, but I didn't know it, right? I did not know it. So when Dan Gallup who said you're good enough, that's what I needed to hear. Hmm. So I think for all the copywriters, you know, you need to work with, you know, a mentor, uh, you know, find somebody that's willing to to coach you, hire them, pay them, join a a, a copywriting, uh, some sort of of thing where you can get feedback on your copy. Because, you know, a few months ago I, I looked for a, a mentee, you know, and and I looked at a lot of copy and. You know, there was a big, <laughs> a lot of guys copy weren't that good and some, some were better than they thought. So um, I think people need feedback and people need to be told that this sucks, start over 
or this is good. And, and when a good copywriter that's got experience tells you this is good, you know, be proud of that moment. That's that's your turning point. You know, that's that's when you uh, you just go for it. Yeah. So was that advice or that those words from Dan that kind of pushed you over? Yeah. I don't think he knows that. I should I should send him a box of cigars. We'll, or something. we'll send him a clip of this. <laughs> yeah. He's a good guy. He's another good guy I'd recommend yeah. talking to uh, Dan. Dan has a lot of uh, copywriting experience. Yeah. No, Matt, I appreciate your time. This has been hugely valuable. And who else would you, anyone else that you'd recommend that you know that you trust that should be included in the Legends of Copywriting series? Legends of Copywriting series? Well, if you, if you really want an interview with Elliot, I can, I can probably make that happen. But he's not really a copywriter, so I don't know if, yeah. uh, if you want to talk to him about that. You know, copywriting-wise... I mean, I think some of the best guys out there right now, uh, John Benson, Chris Haddad, Frank Kern, th those three come to mind as far as some of the yeah. most skilled guys yeah. at the, at right sure. now. Yeah, for sure. Matt, it's an absolute pleasure. Hopefully we'll meet someday when you come back to the States in the cold weather. And yeah. uh, thanks so much. Yeah, by the way, there's direct flights, Panama, Chicago. So uh, All right. maybe, maybe I'll end up in Chicago one of these days. Anytime. Pizza's on cool. me. All right. All right. Perfect. All right. Thanks, thanks Matt. Bye-bye.